Hey everyone, Julianne here. You made it. This is the last lesson. I am so excited to see your growth. I'm so excited to hear from you after this lesson. And honestly, this is going to be my favorite thing that I talk to you about. It's going to be my favorite thing that I think about. It's my favorite part about coaching and it's why. Why I coach and why you coach. So this whole why thing can really start off to, I really want to help people for sure. You guys, no matter what you do in Beachbody, if you are working your business, you are going to help someone, but it needs to be more than that. And I really want to break this down with you. And I really want to show you how to dig deeper into your why so that no matter what, no matter what happens in life, if you get off track, if something happens in your family, you go through something really painful, you're rejected over and over again, you miss a goal, you hit a goal, and you kind of plateau for a little bit. Maybe you're rocking it one minute and then you're just surviving another. But your why is going to be the thing that keeps you going. When you are in the valleys to when you're in the peaks, when you're being stretched, when you're on fire, when you are passionate, your why is going to be the thing that makes you and helps you be successful as a coach. Taking action hands down will move your business forward, but you need to know why you want to move forward. So as we dig into this, I really want you to get a notebook and pen and really brainstorm why you are doing this. So I'm going to share my screen and we're going to go ahead and take a look into this. Your mission and vision in this business, keep you at the gut check stage. That gut check stage of, are you being a product of the product? Am I willing to step outside my comfort zone and get over the fear of inviting, right? Your mission and your vision, oh man, this is the thing that is just gonna keep you propelling forward. So there are two things that go along with this digging deeper. Number one, your vision. What is your huge why in this business? You guys, again, you're going to help people regardless as a coach. It has to be something more. It's the thing that should, you should be dreaming in detail. I remember when I first started as a coach three years ago, I saw Trina Gray sitting in her pool. Her feet were in it. I was doing a training and she had her dream house in the back. And she said, I had dreamt this up for 10 years before it happened. This was my big why. To be able to have this house on the lake, to spend more time with my family. And when I saw that as a new coach, I instantly knew, one, why not me? And two, this is the bridge to freedom. I know I can make any dream happen if I am that detailed as she was, as she was sitting in her pool that one day. And that's what she dreamed in detail. So what I want you to think about is what is that big dream for you? Is it going on this dream vacation with your entire family? Is it paying off your family's debt, your own debt? What is it? You really need to get super specific where you're actually picturing it happening. It's the thing that gets you up in the morning when you don't want to get up. You know, when your alarm clock goes off and you just think, ah, oh, 30 more minutes of sleep, but instead your alarm clock goes off, you connect with your deeper why, you jump out of bed and crush your power hour, your workout, whatever it is you need to do on your list for your business, for your health, and you're just gonna get it done because it matters to you. Your vision helps you show up when you don't want to. I specifically remember going to Europe for two weeks, hardly having any signal, and I still found a way to show up in my business every single day. I've had heartbreak. I've had moments where uh, life has stretched me. I specifically remember the day I had a miscarriage. And even though that day was so incredibly heartbreaking, and I went through a period of time where it was a huge struggle, but I still showed up in my business. My husband and I have experienced loss and death and travel and moving across the country, leaving jobs, all these things, all these things that are scary and hard, and we still showed up in our business. It's the thing that keeps you from throwing in the towel. You guys do not guarantee your failure by quitting. So your vision, that is the thing that can make you cry, it's the thing that makes you so incredibly enthusiastic. 
It's the thing that tugs on your heartstrings. So when you are staying up a half hour later, you're still getting it done. I specifically think about one person in particular, and I think about Liz Colborn. If you don't know her, she's amazing. She's one of my PS coaches. She was going after this goal, and she sacrificed taking a nap with her family. She sacrificed um, some fun with some friends and decided this goal needed to be done. Now, she doesn't do that 365 days of the year, right, when she's with her friends. She wants to be totally plugged in with her family and um, unplugged from social media. But in this particular moment, she knew that it was important for her to show up in her business and to sacrifice that time. I also think about Trina, Trina Gray. It was Halloween. And she had to hit this goal. And instead of going trick-or-treating with her family, her family is on board with her goals, you guys. Their their vision is all aligned. And they knew that this goal was so important to her because it's going to help her get to the vision for her family, for them. So she sacrificed going out and trick-or-treating with her family and stayed in with a headset on, crushing her goals. I think about my coach, Erica. She was sacrificing, again, some time with friends, even even some time with food uh, at the dinner table just to hit a goal. Again, they don't do that every single day of the year. They want to be totally present with their family, but there are going to be moments where it's going to be insanely inconvenient, right? When you're camping with your family, when you hardly have any signal, when crazy things are going on, and you still find a way to show up. What is that why, that vision. Now, it might sound a little bit cocky or egotistical if you're like, man, I just really want this cabin or this boat to spend more time with my family or to go on this two-week vacation and treat my entire family. Maybe that's hard for you to say because it seems a little selfish. That is why it's super important to have your mission. Your mission is who you show up for. It keeps you honest and humble in this business. Your mission makes sure that the gift doesn't stop with you, that not only are you making your why come alive, but because you said yes to this opportunity, you're allowed and you're helping other people make their whys come to life. Because your world has changed, you get to change someone else's world. And that's a big deal, you guys. It's a big deal that you said yes, and it's an even bigger deal when you help other people say yes. And I show up for one person, not everyone. If I don't show up, someone misses out. Every single day, I show up for one person. And I show up for her to give her hope, to give her encouragement, to show her some light, to show her there's another way, to show her that she doesn't need to get on the scale three times a day. I show up for the girl who puts a pillow over her stomach when she sits on the couch. I show up for the girl who doesn't want to be in pictures. I show up for the girl who gets up multiple times in the night. I show up to the girl, for the girl who looks forward to getting drunk on the weekends. And I want to tell her that there's another way of life. Your why is so incredibly important in this business, you guys. If you don't know why you're doing this, you're going to let someone else do it, right? Well, if it's not that big of a deal to you and you don't connect this to a deeper thing, so-and-so can help that person. I've had that happen where people have quit or they put their business on the back burner and then people wanted help so they would come to me instead. But to keep you honest and humble and accountable, it's your mission. It's who you show up for. I want to show you something real fast as we go through here. I wanted to show you this. This is really, really important. You're going to have different seasons in your business. Hands down, I've experienced these seasons. You have the thrive and growth season, which you're able to invest time in your coaching business and grow. You're comfortably hitting success sub 10. Maybe that's a stretch for you right now. You're rank advancing. You have high engagement in your team page and in trainings. You're posting at least three times a day on social media. And you're aware of monthly promos. Team Beachbody News, you know what's going on. And contributing factors to a thrive and growth season is that your personal and your work life are steady, no close family illnesses, 
you're creating momentum, you're excited about your business. Life is awesome. And then there's the survival season. You're getting creative to find time to do the four vital behaviors, but you're managing to do so anyway. You have later nights, earlier mornings, you're hitting a minimum of success club five, you're maintaining your rank, you're digging deeper into your why to maintain consistent consistency in this business. And that is why this why is so important. You're posting at least one time a day on social media, and you're still aware of monthly promos and Team Beachbody news, and you lean on your upline or success partner for training and support and for encouragement. Contributing factors are maybe pregnancy. However, I've seen some pregnant women in the thrive and growth season, so I think it's really dependent upon our, our, where we're focusing, right? Moving, I moved across the country until I get a new job, marital problems, illness and close family member or with a close family member. This season is temporary, but once it's passed, you move quickly back into the thrive and growth season. You guys, I've got to be honest with you. I've been in survival season. I've been in the thrive and growth season. This is where you want to avoid. This season is the excuse making season. You're no longer doing the four vital behaviors consistently. You're no longer hitting success club five every month. You're dropping rank. You have low or no engagement in the team page of training. Honestly, I think engaging in the team page is the most important thing you can do as far as continuing your momentum and belief in the team. When I see coaches who have a lot of potential, usually they disengage from the team first and then or they stop doing their four vital behaviors not posting on social media daily you're unaware of anything that's going on and hear this the contributing factors same life situations as survival season combined with lack of strong why and determination to do the bare minimum to stay in survival season so i want you to know you are going to be in the thrive and growth season you're going to be amazing and then you're going to be in the survival season and it's going to be hard, but you just have to lean on your support and know that you're going to get through it. Every time I feel like I'm in survival season, I always see past it, even though I'm going through it. I just go, okay, it's hard right now. I'm in, an, I, I'm going to not take my foot off the gas. I know exactly what I need to do to get there. I know this is going to pass. And every time it does, you guys, even though Sundays were so hard to find creativity to post, to even want to answer back anyone in my inbox messages, but I still continue to put one step in front of the other. And you just have to remember, slow and steady wins the race, you guys. And I just really, really am excited for you. And just know that success doesn't play favorites and there's no secret to this thing. And just the biggest thing you need to know is that it's not always going to be convenient. However, it's going to lead to a life of convenience. And that is a quote I heard when I first started my very first training as a coach. So I wanted to end this training with the same one. You guys are all amazing. Please dig into that why, that vision, the thing that, that just is the heartbeat of your soul. And then know exactly who you're showing up for so that person doesn't miss out and you're gonna be there for them. All right, you all, congratulations. You're through this training, and I'm so incredibly proud of you.